Gainesville Homes Daily. Ryan here again. Um, so we've got 11 homes to review for the weekend rush of homes making their way to the market. So we're going to kind of fly right through these. Won't dive too deep into some of the pictures. First one, 9044 Woodpecker Court located in the Meadows at Morris Farm. Remember, smaller lots over here at the Meadows at Morris Farm, 484,990, 2,540 square feet above grade with a partially finished basement, four bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths. Um, this is a Yardley model. Built in 2006, so it's a relatively young home, eight years young. There's some of the trails, hardwood floors in the, in the interior here. Uh, family room, kitchen with granite, countertops, oak cabinets. It's the Yardley model. Um, you know, shows decent, um, some neutral pink colors throughout. Price point seems to be okay. Um, you know, with a partially finished basement, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, it's not too high of a price, not necessarily the best deal either. It's somewhere just in the middle there, so not bad. 8550 Yearling Court in Brattle Woods, 499,900. 2,686 square feet above grade, built in 1998. It's uh, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just over a quarter acre lot, fully finished basement. So you're probably somewhere in, in the neighborhood of 3,500 square feet. It does have a heated and lighted in-ground pool um, that was built by Anthony Sylvan. So there's a, a, a potential selling point for somebody looking for a pool. Brick front, two-car garage. There's the wonderful pool with a deck and a screened-in porch out back and hot tub as well. So that's obviously a nice feature for somebody looking for a pool. Those not wanting a pool, then this would not be your cup of tea. Hardwood floors in the interior there. Dining room. Here's the kitchen, granite countertops, stainless appliances, cherry cabinetry. Two-story um, family room, which is obviously nice. Lots of windows for natural light coming through there. Office area. Looks good. I mean, it's priced in the top end of the range. I mean, obviously, I think they feel like with the pool and everything, it's really juicing the value upwards. I'm not going to say it's the best deal. Uh, it was built in 98, so it's a little bit older, but um, shows well. 15568 Alderbrook Drive in, in Dominion Valley, 705000 It's showing as a three-bedroom, three-bath, 0.298. This is the, the Regency at Dominion Valley, so this is going to be in the active adult community side. Um, obviously, this is a high, you know, a pretty high price um, home here uh, at 705,000 for 3,500 square feet on two levels. So it's going to take a unique um, couple or person to buy this home um, just based upon the price point. Obviously, you're getting the amenities of the community at Dominion Valley. That's really what you're paying for. I'm trying to see if it had views of the golf course or whatnot because the interior is really not blowing me away. Kitchen, okay. It's just kind of blah. Nothing that's really great here, in my opinion. Uh, nothing that's going to justify paying $705,000. 7680 Vinewood Court in Virginia Oaks, 454900 2,457 square feet with an unfinished basement. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 0 0.20 of an acre, two-car garage there in the front. Hardwood floors, built in 1998. Unfinished basement's going to probably make this one that's, you know, kind of um, a, a, maybe a tweener. I mean, because the price point's not great enough, I don't know, um, to necessarily overcome the unfinished basement. But it is in Virginia Oaks, a golf course community. Um, so, it, you know, it's got a decent shot. I mean, obviously anything near the 450 range is going to get a lot more action. So just know that you got a little bit of work with the basement. 8444 Tack House Loop. I sold a townhouse in this same subdivision not too long ago. Prices are really moving up over there. This is a in-unit townhome, 324900 Three bedrooms, three and a half baths with 2,300 square feet. Um, potential fourth bedroom downstairs in the basement. Not to code, obviously. Final siding, bay window. Um, I think this is, you know, they're starting to really stretch the price points on these townhomes up to that, you know, 325, 330, 340, 350. This house almost looks identical to the one that I sold hardwood floors on the main level that goes through to the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. Uh, I, I think that this price might be pushing it. Uh, you know, it's decent square footage, but it's built in 97, a little bit older. Um, I think it's, you're, they're probably ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 off. That's just my opinion, obviously. Here's another one in Broadwood, 13601 Philly Court. This is 2,160 square feet. This is priced at 319900 so about 5,000 square feet less. Um, brick front, fenced-in backyard. Hardwood floors on the main level. 
granite countertops in the kitchen, white appliances, master bedroom. That shows well. Price point on that one similar to the other one. A little on the high side for what you're getting. There's a lot out there as far as townhouses, so uh, definitely can take your pick. This is in West Market, 354,985, 7016 courtyard way. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2,540 square feet. Um, price point's pretty much spot on for, for that type of square footage over there in West Market. It's a brick front, two car garage, hardwood floors throughout. Granite in the kitchen. It appears stainless steel appliances nice open floor plan on this one huge master bedroom shows well um, and I think that you know could move relatively quick being in that in, in the West Market subdivision which is nice now you know built in 2002 good looking home there 6805 Hollow Glen Court and Crossroads Village this is a little bit of an older community built in 2000 369,900 three bedrooms three and a half baths Detached colonial for 2,500 square feet total, 2016 above grade. So it's a little bit smaller for a detached home, but I think once again, anything under you know 375,000 for a detached home, uh, it's got a one-car garage is definitely worth looking at, and this is no exception. The price point is really going to be the best, um, uh, the thing that you want to consider the most because there's just not much out there under 375 for 400,000 for that matter. 7055 Heritage Hunt. This is a condo, um, brick, one bedroom, one full bath in the 55 plus gated community, gated community of Heritage Hunt. 234,900. Um, obviously, it's got it's got two master suites, so it's two bedrooms, two full baths. Under 250,000, it's worth a look. It's an active adult community, so it's going to be a certain type of um, individual looking to retire, or downsize. This would be a good option. Um, obviously these, this is the top floor condo that was built in 2009, cherry cabinets in there with stainless appliances, looks good, 1,292 square feet, so it's not too big, easy to maintain, price point seems good too, but the total condo fee and HOA fee together are almost $565 a month, so definitely something to take into consideration, it's also why the price point's a little bit lower. 5369 Bowers Hill Drive in Dominion Valley, 759900 just over a half acre at 0 .605, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 4,335 square feet with a basement that I can't tell if it's finished or not because it doesn't say. Um, obviously, um, it, I would assume it is at this price point. Brick front, two car garage, hardwood floors and you come in. Coffered ceilings in the family room, tray ceiling in the dining room. Nice lots of archways, oak cabinets, granite countertops. Hardwood floors, master bedroom, house shows well. Um, here's the backyard, nice big yard with you know almost three quarters of an acre there, just over nice deck that walks down into the yard. Price point might be just a touch high. I can't tell if the basement's finished or unfinished. Um, a lot of amenities, obviously, with Dominion Valley. 5780 Bincrest Way is the last one. In Piedmont, it's 599, four bedrooms, two and a half baths at a half acre, 3,200 square feet. It does have a basement, doesn't say if it's finished or not. Um, it's on a cul de sac, brick front, silo garage, two car, hardwood when you come in. It looks like hardwoods throughout as well as on the staircase. Nice granite countertops, some uh, up upgraded cabinetry, as you can tell. Cooktop there. Lots of custom paint, sunroom, lots of windows. You can tell it's been staged and there's nice photography on this one. So um, definitely makes a difference in, in how the house shows for sure. Uh, price point seems to be reasonable. Um, obviously, I couldn't tell if the basement was finished off on that. It's in Piedmont, which is a desirable neighborhood built in 2002. Um, if it is finished off, then this price point, it, it seems really good. If it's not, it could be just a touch high. A lot of homes, obviously, we got to review today, but if you'd like to schedule showings for any of these, give us a call, 703-596-0011, or contact us through the website, GainesvilleHomesDaily.com. Have a great weekend. We'll be back with you tomorrow, or actually Monday. Take care.